me, my friends. How y'all doing? You doing good? I hope so. I'm doing good. Pretty day outside. Are you guys getting outside and get some stuff, you know, get that air in there, get your lungs. <gasps> you doing it? Just do it. All right. Just get out there, play around. In fact, maybe go outside and do your work outside. That'd be nice. Ooh, I might have Jaden do that. It is beautiful. Really nice out here. So anyway, um, real quick, I went through all of ARP books. Hmm. And I have some that haven't taken a test since school, since we let out of school. Now, those of you that have taken tests for the past two weeks, I have Lion Paws. Okay. I'm not going to say your names or who it is. Okay. But um, I have Lion Paws. I've got numbers on them. And you're going to be real surprised when a lot of you are going to see your packets and they're going to be full of Lion Paws. And what I think I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to keep them and give them to your teachers for next year. All right. I don't want you losing them because some of them are pretty cool. You guys are doing awesome. All right. So like I said, I went through this morning and those of you that have been taking tests, I've got <laughs> Bruce. Have you read like, I think, is it Bruce? I think he's read every Pete the Cat book or one of one of you guys. Maybe it's Ariana. Someone's read almost every Pete the Cat book, but they're reading. Nice job. I'm proud of you guys. You guys all have books. And if not, come to school and get books. Okay. Um, I sent mom and dad emails with uh, the Knuffle Bunny and uh, all kinds of books that you guys can be listening to or reading and taking tests on. Okay. You can do it. All right, lovies. So that's it. We've got that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Just hoping you're having a good day. What do you think? I wanted to read this book. I really miss reading to you guys. It's just not much fun. You know, I love all that. Um, so why not? Okay, let's read Duck on a Bike. Look who it's from, David Shannon. Now remember, what did David Shannon write? Can you remember? Can you remember? David. Remember, David? So he wrote David. Now, remember, and now I don't know, Remember they said to look for Fergus in all his books, but I'm not sure if Fergus, he's an, I don't see him. So he must not be on the duck ones. Maybe it's just the David ones. Sorry, got an itch. Okay, let's read. Duck on a Bike. And it is an ARP book. Level two. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's read. Duck on a I love this. Honestly, you know, you know, it's a David Shannon book by just um, looking at the pictures in a way, because this is it, the pictures do look like something David Shannon's done. So there you go. Well, one day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. <laughs> I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. And he waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Moo, said Cow. But what she really thought was, a duck on a bike, that's the silliest thing I've ever seen. I just love the pictures. When Duck rode past Sheep, hello, Sheep, said Duck. Bah, said Sheep. But what she really thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now, and he rode past Dog. Hello, Dog. Woof, said Dog, but what he really thought was, this is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat, but what she really thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. <laughs> Well, Duck pedaled a little faster, and he rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse. But what he really thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode past Chicken. Hello, Chicken, said Duck. Cluck, cluck, said Chicken. But what she really thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. <laughs> 
Then Duck rode past Goat. Ho, Duck, said Duck. Meh, said Goat. But what he really thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Because, you know, goats eat everything. Oh, dear. Duck stood on his seat and rode past Pig. Pig and Pig, excuse me. Hello, Pig, said Duck. Right, said Pig and Pig. But what they really thought was, Duck is such a show-off. Then Duck rode with no hands, past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he really thought was, I wish I could ride a bike like Duck. Oh, where's Mouse? There's Mouse, down at the bottom. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes, and they were in such a hurry, they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house, and they all went inside. Ooh, look at all of them. Oh, and they all have helmets. Good job. I'm trying to think, where's Duck? I don't even see him. Do you see him? I don't even see him on here. I'm looking. Huh. Okay. Uh-oh. Look at all their faces. Especially the horse. Look, his eyes are big. Something must have happened. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the cat. I didn't show it all. <laughs> like they're, oh. Now all the animals had bikes and they rode around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. <laughs> That's what they were looking at. They all thought, ooh. Then they put the bikes back by the house. And no one knew that on that afternoon, there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. <laughs> the end. Too fun. All right. Well, if you want to take a test, okay, there's the number. It's 58826. Okay, if you want to take a test on it, which I would, all right, 58826. And, you know, you can go back on this video and listen to it again, okay? You can do it. And if you forgot the number, it's duck on a bike, all right? All right, sweeties, I love reading to you guys. So it's a lot more fun than when you're here and you interrupt me through the whole story to say something, huh? I know. It's a way more fun. I miss that. Who knew? Who knew? Mrs. White would miss it when you interrupt me. All right, doll faces, let's pray. Okay? Bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord God, for my wonderful class, and I just lift them up today. I pray that you bless their day. Lord God, I lift up Mario, and I lift up Mario, and Ava, and Nathaniel, and Adrian, and Mia, and London, and Ricky, and Aubrey, and Kale. And Mara, Olivia, Savannah, Bruce, Ariana, and Kira, Brooklyn, and Lane, and Rosalind, and Xavier, Lord God, just bless their day. Help them get through the day, get through the work. Oh, my gosh, Lord, we really only have one more week. But just be with them because they're all working so hard. So, Lord, thank you so much for your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, sweeties, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. We have Zoom tomorrow, don't we? Yes, we do. So I'll tell you what, I won't be doing a morning one because I'll see you at Zoom and we'll do a scavenger hunt. All right? Okay, sweeties. Bye.